Temecula. Welcome to the 10th episode of the Around and About Temecula Park Adventure Series. I'm your host, Jeff Lawrence. We hope that you've been following us on our citywide tour of parks in Temecula and that you enjoy this special episode. If you think about it, parks can make a big impression on us as youth. Some of my fondest memories as a child was playing at parks. I can still remember vividly what they looked like and all the joy I experienced exploring and playing. I'm certain that many people have stories about special parks and how they may have made a difference in their lives. We're fortunate to be able to check in with our city manager, Aaron Adams, to hear his story about the Temecula Duck Pond and how special it was to him. My name is Aaron Adams. I have the privilege of being the city manager for the city of Temecula and have been a longtime city employee for nearly 26 years. And I was asked to sort of share a story about a particular park or park system here in, in the city of Temecula that, that was personal or meant something to me. And, and I do have a short story. And I happen to be a third generation public employee. And my father was a a uh, uh, public official in the city of Escondido and, and my grandfather was actually a civil engineer out of West Covina. And uh, back in the 60s, my grandfather, John Adams, um, was a consultant to Kaiser Aetna. And if you know anything about sort of the history of how Temecula became Temecula, Kaiser Aetna was a major landholder and a developer here in the valley uh, during the Ranch California days. And he was a civil engineer and he was down here working in this area when, when nothing was here, nothing was going on. But they were planning for this master plan community that I always heard about uh, with my grandfather. It was how great Ranch California was gonna be, how great this master plan community. It was Ranch California, Ranch California. And I heard about this as a, as a young kid back in the 70s. And my folks would actually drive me up the 395, because the 15 did not exist, um, and take me to the duck pond. And the duck pond was actually catty corner to where the duck pond we know today exists. And I would get dropped off there, and my grandfather would come down from West Covina pick me up in his car and, and take me back up to West Covina. So it was this meeting point at the Temecula Duck Pond. But what I recall hearing as a young kid was just his pride and his involvement in his work. And his work involved Ranch California. And um, I, I, I can remember it vividly even when he came to visit us in Arizona and, and other family uh, gatherings just talking about this pride he had in this community. And then I fast forward to today, and you know there's over 480 cities in the in the state of California, and I find it incredibly serendipitous that I have the privilege and I landed in Ranch California, now known as the city of Temecula. So um, it is bittersweet for me to reflect on sort of this this history, but there is a there is a three generational connection to the Temecula duck pond that I, to this day, I pinch myself and I'm just, it, it's special to me. Uh, I know he's looking down and unfortunately, my grandfather, John Adams, uh, did not live long enough to see the city of Temecula incorporate in 1989 and that uh, very important decision on what it was going to be named, you know, Ranch California or Temecula. Um, but I know he's proud of his grandson and I'm doing my very best to, to lead this great city. So thank you for letting me share this story. Thanks, Aaron. That's a great story and a perfect example of the impact and importance that parks have on our lives. Now let me tell you a little more about this park. The Temecula Duck Pond is located near the center of town at 28250 Inez Road and was dedicated on July 28, 1995. 
This open, welcoming, and accessible public space is essentially Temecula's outdoor sculpture garden, celebrating community connections and honoring heroes with original works of public art, such as the Fallen Heroes Memorial, Letters Home Memorial, and the Path of Honor Pavers. There is an art installation depicting people riding a bike in the rain, covered by umbrellas, surrounded by Delft tiles called Singing in the Rain. This piece was gifted to the people of Temecula from our former sister city, Leitzendam Vorburg, Netherlands, in remembrance of 9-11. We also have a traditional Japanese garden with red Tory gate, bridge, and sculptures in honor of Temecula's present sister city, Daisen, Nakayama, Japan. Temecula's Duck Pond serves as our annual meeting place for many city events, including the 9-11 Memorial and Christmas tree lighting ceremony. Other amenities include a large grass area, perfect for a picnic or relaxing with a book, covered gazebo, benches, and a restroom. Although this space does not have a playground, it is still a tranquil place to take a leisurely stroll around the pond, where you are sure to see ducks and ducklings swimming and turtles sunbathing on the rocks. So pack a picnic lunch and experience this park full of one-of-a-kind works of public art, sculptures, and memorial installations. Please note that fishing is not permitted at the duck pond, and we also ask that you refrain from feeding the ducks. The Temecula Duck Pond is a perfect place to experience nature and engage in memorable public art as you wander around and about our city's beautiful pond. We encourage everyone to get outside, experience Temecula's diverse parks, and even discover new ones just beyond your own backyard. <laughs>